Well, I am jumping on the bandwagon of this real quick just because I just happened to see this come up. Apparently, Twitter is exploding at the moment, although I don't have Twitter. I actually saw this from another YouTube video and I decided I have to make something about this real quick. So, from the White House, I'm reading this article, um, a new proclamation from the President of the United States. This is dated March 29th, 2024. And it's filed under presidential actions. A proclamation on Transgender Day of Visibility 2024. On Transgender Day of Visibility, we honor the extraordinary courage and contributions of transgender Americans and reaffirm our nation's commitment to forming a more perfect union where all people are created equal and treated equally throughout their lives. Now he goes on to say a whole bunch of stuff. Well, Biden isn't the one writing this. But he goes on to say a whole bunch of stuff in this article just talking about how it's un-American to attack them and bully them and they're all part of America and they're loved and understood and all this other kind of stuff. But here is the most important part from Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. Uh, there's all this pomp and circumstance surrounding the White House, even though it seems like a kind of a clown show. Um, they still have the pomp and circumstance and the the language from all those years ago in ancient American history. So at the end of this article, now, therefore, I, Joseph R. Biden, Jr., see how uh, official this sounds, president of the United States of America, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Constitution and the laws of the United States, do hereby proclaim March 31st, 2024, that's tomorrow, as Transgender Day of Visibility. I call upon all Americans to join us in lifting up the lives and voices of transgender people throughout our nation and to work towards eliminating violence and discrimination based on gender identity. So uh, you might see what the issue is. <laughs> Tomorrow, March 31st, 2024, is now Transgender Day of Visibility. Now, memory is striking me right now. I think there's some other kind of holiday tomorrow. I know that there's a holiday on just about every day of the year, but I think there's some really important one tomorrow. I can't really remember what it is. Hmm. Well, uh, you know, if you guys can tell me, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's some kind of really important holiday tomorrow. Let me know, because uh, I just can't remember it at the moment. <laughs> um, yeah, obviously, tomorrow's Easter. This is this is clearly a strike against Christians. Um, I'm not making this video to get on a, a bandwagon of angry, outraged Christians. I get that this is meant to be something that gets under our skin. The purpose of this video is to reassure people and to remind them that, um, let me pull up the actual scripture. As the scriptures say, Ephesians 6.12, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Our struggle is not against flesh and blood. These people, Joe Biden, all of his staff, all the administration, the people he's talking about, everybody mentioned in this article, they're all flesh and blood people, just like you and me. And they are not our enemies. They may do things that are frustrating and infuriating like this, um, but they're not actually our enemies. They are just as lost as we used to be. So please keep that in mind. I will, however, say one extra bit, I think, in here that is meant to get under our skin. And please understand, it looks better and it is better to not let this get under your skin. The last paragraph of this little article. Uh, here's like the real pomp and circumstance. You know, you got all the uh, the old English in witness whereof, I have hereunto set my hand this 29th day of March, in the year of our Lord, 2024, and of, and of the independence of the United States of America, the 248th. In the year of our Lord, who is that Lord? Oh, and by the way, in the article, they have Lord capitalized. So it's pretty obvious who they're talking about. In the year of our Lord God who made people male and female, we recognize this uh, Resurrection Sunday as now being Transgender Day of Visibility. This kind of stuff, it's meant to be infuriating, but 
just please don't take it that way. That's all I got to say, really. This video is too long anyway. But I hope that this uh, fantastic Resurrection Weekend and Resurrection Sunday, which it will always be known as, um, is the highlight of the year for you. I hope that in this time of darkness, you can remember the the good words of Jesus Christ and the fact that he actually rose again. Keep that in mind, and this kind of stuff will cease to be a problem. So, yeah, um, I will see you guys soon. Have a wonderful Easter. Until next time.